Hello everyone. So here is the demonstration of Unreal Engine Snow Particle System that I have updated into Unreal Engine version 5.4. So I have originally worked on this uh, in an earlier version of Unreal Engine. Now that I have updated this into 5.4, it's not just a simple update. I have added some improvement to the system as well. So I will go into details in a once. So before I go into details with the particle system itself, let me show you how it works. So basically there are two emitters, one particle does have collisions and one does not because uh, I implemented it that way considering the performance reasons in case you want to mm, have many particles but not all of them have collisions then you can tweak the counters or spawn rates of each particle I'll show you how to do that and also as you can see the direction of the the general direction of these snow particles are changing time to time uh, to give some turbulence effect into the system so as you can see now particles are somewhat going from left to right and now it's changed to another direction and yeah so okay and also this time i have used this texture with different types of uh, different types of snowflakes so one of them is randomly used for the for each particle that you see here so that you get some randomization apart from seeing the same look of the snowflake over and over again i have used a sub uv function for in the particle system to randomize this here you can see the details of this and the particle para uh, material is like this this is the sub uv texture so in the snow blueprint i have added the particle through this bp snow which i have set the tick interval to three seconds and in every three seconds it will check the location of the player and relocate the particle system above the player so this would be useful in a case where you want to use this in open world setting but you will not be able to make the spawning area infinitely big but making it move with the player you can make sure there will be snow wherever the player goes but if you just if you don't want that feature you can simply disconnect this tick and this is where the change wind happens so it randomly changes the direction of the wind it just rotate the particles direction that's all so yeah those are the things that i have done as the updates to the system and you can watch from scratch how did i implement this to uh, particle effect in the tutorials that i have already shared here this tutorial series playlist contains all the tutorials that i have done on this system you can watch them in my channel and implement them from scratch and also you can download the project files of this project and not just this project thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below so yeah this is our particle system